Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Saturday Peon Post. Oh, wow, fantastic. That felt like a good intro. Don't know how anyone else was feeling about that. Ooh, I feel good. You know how good I feel? I'm just gonna, just gonna get myself a beverage. Oh, yeah, hear that, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you can. I'm just gonna take a sip. Mm. Ah, professional. Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I, I did the intro. Don't know why I'm doing it again. I always do that. I always do, like, two intros. It's really weird. I need, I, I don't know what the game is in the background. I actually haven't recorded a game in the background to go in the background. Uh, so, yeah. I actually just finished um, editing a time-lapse video of an abandoned mine for the Twisted Grove. Yes, that, that lovely little build series that I've started doing. It's absolutely awesome. It feels good because I've been wanting to do... I've been trying to find, like, sort of the thing that I want to do with uh, the channel and that lot. And, you know, recently I've been working around stuff. I did a few sketch work. And, you know, I... I I enjoyed doing those, but I didn't feel like it was probably me. I couldn't be fully creative with that sort of medium. However, through time lapses, I can actually explore a variety of different games that are creative, being Minecraft, primarily, obviously, because it seems to be the uh, the main creative platforming for games these days. But also, I can uh, try other stuff like Castle Story, sort of the first sort of time lapse building content that I started to. Uh, fully produced with the channel. I mean, Minecraft was something that we were doing previously anyway. Like the, um, uh, what the hell? The, the roleplay world, Just For those that are wondering, actually, that's still going. Um, all the, all the time lapses, like the Twisted Grove and stuff like that, are going into the roleplay world. So don't, don't worry. That, that's not something that stopped for those that are even still watching me from when that was still a thing. Which it is a thing, it's just not being properly advertised, I guess? Content driven. That's the word I'm looking for. Guess what we don't have, ladies and gentlemen? Structure. <laughs> we still don't have any structure for this. I need to build. I need to create a um, a form or a sheet of some sort that can give me a structured plan for every single one of these episodes. You know, maybe like the first two minutes, just chill time. Can have a nice little drink. We did that. It was nice and great. Mm. I haven't actually tested the audio yet. I um, I sort of jumped on into it because. Because I, because I did the audio for the previous thing, I figured it would be fine. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe that is a proper mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. However, it's nearly been. It's actually been two minutes. It's going to be two minutes and thirty seconds now. Ow! Oh, I was slightly off by like f f fractions, fractions of seconds right there. Awesome. I feel pretty great today, though. I feel pretty good. I feel productive, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing. A lot this week. Wow. Um, it's been actually the most productive week of the channel that I've ever done ever. And I hope to actually continue it. Because I feel pretty good about it. Because, uh, well, you know, like I said before, about, what, November, October-ish was when I actually started doing the, like, this sort of thing as a proper... Well, actually, not really in October or November. I was still doing stuff then. I think it was around about early December. Um, but October was when I was actually thinking about doing this, which... At the moment, it's actually gone pretty well for me so far. Um, people seem to enjoy the content I'm producing. And I seem to be actually gaining a good active viewer base, which is something that I didn't have before. Which is always nice to know, ladies and gentlemen. That's always nice. Um, definitely the games that I enjoy the most, which I found from this sort of trial and error period, which is basically what this has been, is uh, creative, blocky games, stuff like that, you know. It, mostly it's creative side. It doesn't have to be a blocky game. I'm not too sure what else though. Like I'll probably stick to standard let's plays and stuff like that. Obviously, because I enjoy doing let's plays. But the a large amount of content, hopefully, it's very hard to get enthusiasm sometimes because you're just stuck on a, a specific part of a building. But hopefully, time lapse content will be a lot more frequent because because you, you know now I've, I'm pretty much dedicating myself to doing that because I now know what I'm going to be doing. It's fine. It's only been a year and a half. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, nearly two years now, because um, anniversary week's going to be next month. I think that's when the first video came out. <laughs> Something like that. Whenever I try and look at the oldest video, it um, doesn't. No, it just looks at sort of the video that was six months ago, so it's a bit annoying. Like, I'm going to my videos right now. My oldest video was a D&D &D video. It's not really my oldest video. Like, my oldest video is probably this, I mean, last year, sort of mid-last year, because that's when the guys stopped doing stuff. Yeah, apparently, my last video was a Don't Starve Part 23. Yeah, apparently. But I, I do know the last video was a, um, was a bloody thingamajig. <laughs> Great! Well, it was a thingamajig. 
a dungeon defenders, I think I was saying. I completely lost my train of thought there, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely apologize for that. However, time-lapsing stuff, that is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm definitely looking forward to all the new creations that I created. Um, what? Say that again. All the different creations that I have planned. And that's going to be pretty great. I don't do much ruin stuff, which is why I started off doing the Twisted Grove. Just a bunch. The, the idea of these time-lapse series. Uh, I've got a sort of... A, a thing that I've set up right now, and I've got an idea, and I think I might try and make a, a particular format for that. And then maybe when I've completed all the time lapses, I'll create like a video that shows off all the buildings with some critique and that lot from myself. And you know, that'll be for the people that don't really have the time to watch, you know, like X amount of builds in a thingamajig. And then after that, of course, I'll have the ability to give you the download, and then you can download that and play on it and do as you will. And that would be pretty cool, and hopefully I might be able to create some adventure maps out of them as well. But most probably not. Like, I'll probably make dedicated adventure maps. Um, I actually want to make a map for uh, Diamond in the Rough. The thing is, I've done that before, and they didn't accept it, because apparently it was a bit too much. I don't know what that means, but I guess it is Diamond in the Rough. That was a long time ago now, though. That was a year ago, or something like that. It was the adventure map that I did... Oh, not adventure map. You go to Planet Minecraft. It's the first thing that I've posted. Um, the incident at Grackle Castle, I believe it was. It actually wasn't that great now that I look back on it. Like, there, like, it's funny how you do that. Like, I know in probably a few months' time, I'm going to look back on the Twisted Grove content, which I love right now. But when I look at it at that perspective, when I've most probably gained a lot more skills and that lot, I'm going to look at it and go, Oh, God. What is this? What have you done? Oh. Oh, and just get completely angry and go into some sort of bloodthirsty rage. I was going to say rave then. Go into a bloodthirsty rave. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I think I'd love to be a part of that. But yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm very excited for that kind of content. You can tell in the tone of my voice that I'm very excited for that kind of content. Also, I did silent let's plays. Um, time, silent, silent let's plays. Silent time lapses with the um, the, the giant castle. What the hell did I call it? Like, I'm going back right here. Now, I just call it a, a Castle Mountstone, which is actually sort of the first time lapse that I've made, which I really love that castle. Oh my god. Absolutely love it. I think it's a, a very cool looking castle. Uh, but yeah, that's that. That was uh, a one. The, uh, my, my wording today is absolutely awful. I think I need to drink. Mm. Then again, my sentence structure in the past has never been great anyway. But the Castle Mountstone was created in November. Yes, yes, right here, November. So that was a little while back now before actually starting to make dedicated time-lapse content. Uh, Minecraft Sketch was something that I was doing a little bit of. But, um, you know, I did the first one. I really love that that other first sort of video I created. But I didn't feel like it was for me, to be honest. Um, the Castle Story ones I actually generally enjoyed completely, though. It was mostly to add something extra to the explosion videos. Um, I don't know. I, I think it just taught me to do a little bit of... Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of voice acting, I suppose. I want to do more voice acting. I want to get into that sort of medium. I think it'll be pretty cool. I I don't know. Just like do, I'll probably go and do some lessons and stuff like that. Just to properly use my voice effectively. You know, breathing skills and stuff like that. I know it sounds kind of stupid. That's the kind of stuff you kind of, you're taught, though. When voice acting and stuff like that. Also the way I speak. I mumble a lot and do stuff like that. So it probably helped me in constructive sentencing as well. So I think, I think something like that would be pretty cool. Once again though. Speaking of constructiveness. Um, this. The peon post. Still no construction. There's still no order. Because I mean I've been jumping from topic to topic to topic. Without sort of completing the previous topic. Apart from the time lapse one. Which I literally just completed a minute ago. Um, but was skipped about twice throughout other topics. But there you go. That's pretty cool. Um, what else did I do this week? We've done the time lapses. We did Stone Earth, Alpha 1, Alpha 0 0.1.0, release 14. Oh, man. That game's looking promising. Like, for an Alpha, it's, it's meant to be a concept. It's meant to show that they're actually working on it, that they're actually doing well. But, well, it's not mostly that. But it, it, I like to think it's half that and also half a proper hardcore bug fixing. This is something that's really required with this game, to be honest, because at the moment the AI is absolutely weird, and it bugs out after a little while, which makes sense. It's an alpha. That's the whole point why it exists. Um, customer feedback, that's what it pretty much is, which I still haven't sent the um, I haven't sent them my thoughts, but the thing is, I've looked around, and I think the thoughts that I have are pretty much similar to the people that are on the forums and on Reddit and that lot. 
So I probably won't even bother because I think other people have done so as well. But there you go. Uh, for those that are wondering, I don't know if you can uh, buy the alpha for that for about $30. That's about, to my knowledge, £18? Something like that? I, I, I try to remember the current exchange rate. Um, and the current exchange rate um, per dollar is 61 pence per dollar. So, yeah. Dollar's not looking too good right now, but there you go. <laughs> that, that's, that's something right there. I think it's still a bit better, though, than what it used to be. Is it? I don't know, actually. That might be absolutely awful. 61 pence. No, yeah, yeah, that that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking of it from the uh, other perspective. That's absolutely fine, though. That is normal-ish per in the current time. It's not great, though. But there's that. <laughs> great. Currency with Finis. <laughs> I know fuck all about currency, I might add. I just sort of pay attention to the exchange rates because I don't know why. It gives me a kick. <laughs> That's a bit weird. That's a bit of a weird way to get a kick out of something. Anyway, what else have we done this week? Exchange rates, Stonehearth, time lapses. Did I finish my talk about Stonehearth? I just told you how to get it. Yeah, my thoughts about that game is that it's just buggy and it's alpha, but the color scheme is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I love the voxels. That's what they were actually called. I completely spaced it during the actual first look. But the voxels, I, I really do like that design. It's like the same with Cube World. Even though I didn't play too much of Cube World, because at the time there really wasn't that much to do, it was still a very fun, exciting sort of... Uh, what, what am I going on here? It was a It's a very cool, very... Vibrant, that's the word I'm looking for, graphic style, that I very much enjoy. Some people were co complaining that it was very bold, that it was very plain. I kind of disagree with that. I mean, they could obviously add a few more sort of darker layers and that lot to the grass, specifically. You know, maybe just to add that, that little bit of extra detail. But I do like the boldness of it. It, it very much expresses the land, in my opinion. That's that's my thought, though. God, I feel like um, I'm a critic of art, which... I'm not, I might add, and I have never claimed myself to be other than then, which was a joke. <laughs> there you go, fantastic. This is weird, because I usually make cuts in this, but I seem to be doing this fairly fluently. That's rather strange. I mean, usually I do cuts when I'm going off topic, like now, so let's continue. Um, the Land of Islay. Oh my god. To tell you how much I love The Land of Islay. <laughs> oh my god, I absolutely love that series. I don't want it to die. I want it to go on it forever. It's so good. Timber and Stone is slowly becoming one of those games for me. One of those games. I, I mean, maybe it's a bit different, because when I let's like when I play it normally, I'm just like thinking, oh shit, what am I gonna do this game? Oh man. I mean usually it's the same generally, but you can follow a few different sort of rules and stuff like that. Maybe you wanna go specifically into this category or something like that real quick. You know, there's a load of different things you can do, but generally the game ends up being the same. Just you, you add your own adventure to it, and that's what I like about it. You can add your own stories and stuff like that that can really bring on a series, which is why I like Timber and Stone, because I can pretty much edit everything. I can edit the characters, I can make up random stories, which I somehow remember. For those that don't know, I'm pretty bad at remembering things. Well, generally, anyway. I, uh, as a human being, I'm really bad at remembering things, uh, more so than the average human being, that is. I'm really bad. Uh, mostly because of dyslexia, I suppose, that, you know, I just forget things, slow attention span, that kind of stuff. Which is surprising, when someone with a low attention span can, like, build a twelve, like build for 12 hours straight on Castle Story and still not get bored. But I guess that's how much I like building, ladies and gentlemen. That is a testament to how much passion I have for constructing stuff and the creative world that is gaming but there you go that's pretty cool also i say that a lot there we go it's pretty cool oh and fantastic that's quite the word actually um to be honest that's mostly from nile z of the ox cast that's mostly where that is because the you know the outro thing he does where it's like you have been fantastic don't know why kicks me a little bit it's pretty fun it's pretty awesome it's pretty cool and that's probably why i say fantastic a lot more than i should because it's fantastic <laughs> There we go. Absolutely amazing. If I find out the audio is actually really shit after this, I'm going to be really upset. Kind of. Because then I can actually make a constructive Saturday peon post. Maybe that's the theme. Maybe I always complain about it not being in order, but it's never going to be in order because I'm just simply too occupied with other things. Building, ladies and gentlemen, takes a long time. That seven-minute video, well, seven-minute build, 
let's say, probably took me like two hours. And then the actual editing took me another hour. And I mean, then again, it's only three hours. But that's three hours of constant work on something that you probably, for the most part, didn't really... What am I trying to say here? It's three hours of keeping your interest. And sometimes that's very difficult to do, especially if you've got other stuff to do as well. Like working on uh, Let's Plays and stuff like that. You've really got to fit it into a time socket so that you can actually get it done within that time. And also not get bored, essentially. you you. It's very difficult to do something like that when you've got access to like playing some games or something like that to waste time. I mean, and that's why I usually take a break, actually, during time lapses. You know, halfway through a uh, general amount of time that I feel like is decent. I'll take a little break, maybe play some Binding of Isaac, have a run on that. Play a bit of Counter-Strike and then go back to building. That usually refreshes my mind and, you know, makes me stop getting sick of clicking the right button to place blocks. It's just a little bit of an annoying thing, but there you go. I still love doing it, but every now and again you do get that annoying twitch of not having much enthusiasm to do any constructing because you've been doing a lot of it. Um, this actually comes from the previous abandoned mine that I've been creating. Um, that took a long, lot longer than I was expecting because I kept changing it. I kept changing specific designs because I just thought, no, this is bad. And it took like hours and hours longer than I was actually anticipating. And I slowly just got sick of it and just went off. And when you stop building something and come back to it later, it's a lot harder to keep that enthusiasm. Fortunately, though, I just like l listened to... What was I listening to? I think I was listening to a random podcast and they were just talking about random bollocks. And they're, they're that pretty much for some reason made me think, oh yeah, I've got a build to do. And then I just did that within like, I finished it about two hours ago from this time of recording. And what else? And the edit I've literally just finished processing now. So there you go. That's pretty cool. That's a little bit of insight though, ladies and gentlemen, to my time lapsing uh, to do dad things. I love doing it, but sometimes it gets a little bit tiring because you got to do a lot of other stuff during the day. This also goes into the temp work that I'm now doing. Well, now doing that I've always really done. It's just I haven't done it for three weeks because, you know, Christmas. Um, is I, I pretty much work every Wednesday night, and I think every now and again I work a different night. Well, work Wednesday night and another night. That's usually every now and again. This is basically from the experience that I had last year. Like, this week was the first time that I went to work at the temp place for this year and uh, there you go it got me a little bit tired because i sort of wasn't amazingly used to it it's the easiest job in the world don't get me wrong but the amount of physical labor required is pretty extensive you know it's pretty tiring you get like a crappy 20 minute break as well which i think is illegal but you know what we're temp workers we're not allowed to complain <laughs> no that's that's really not how it works but but there you go. You know, it is a bit of a crap break, but no one really cares. You know, we can't be bothered to deal with it. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. What else are we doing that's absolutely nothing to do with this channel? <laughs> um, well, this is mostly a half channel and half whatever the balls I've got to talk about, I suppose. Uh, I suppose it is. I don't really want it to be that kind of thing. But eh, then again, I guess it's pretty cool. To... It's a way... Excuse me, I burped there. It's a way of expressing me to you guys. There you go. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. It's full of myself. Absolutely full of myself. You utter douchebag. That's me, by the way. I'm ridiculously full of myself right now. Also, that wave line looks suspicious. What? You can't see them, but I can. Because I'm literally looking at the audacity waves as I record. That's how I record these. And then I put them over some gameplay footage. I'm not sure what to play, actually. I could just play some Hearthstone. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to play Hearthstone. Do I want to play Hearthstone? I kind of do. Then I kind of don't. I would put some Stone Hearth in the background, but I can barely play that for about 20 minutes before it breaks. Also, we're getting close to the 20 minute mark now. What else have we missed? I'm not going to do... I'm, let's say that again. I'm not going to be doing too much Castle Story at the moment. I'm just going to be doing these Minecraft time lapses. More Don't Starve. I finished Don't Starve, so I'm just uploading the rest. Not too sure what to play after that. Hopefully you can... Uh, Give me some suggestions in the comments. Some A similar game, a survival-ish kind of game. Like, I was thinking of playing, like, Rust and stuff, but I'm not too sure. I mean, I might play a little bit of Days, but um, once again, I'm not too sure. It's not really those kinds of games. However, I would 
I might give it a, a shot. I'm not really too sure. I mean, I get frustrated on days and stuff like that because, you know, you spend all your time looking for stuff and every now and again you'll meet a cool person. But then every most of the time you just find a douchebag or a group of douchebags that just shoot you for no reason. I have no idea why this happens. I mean, maybe I need to trust people less. That's probably what the, the issue is there. This is going to be longer than 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, because of my constant rambling. Unfortunately, that is a thing. Oh, well. It's just... I don't really care. <laughs> and there you go. But that's my thoughts on days and games like that. You know, maybe I just got to be less trustworthy. But the thing is, the cool part about the game is that you're communicating with people. That was sort of the main reason why I wanted to play it. I wanted to communicate with random people and, I don't know, form a, a clan. Well, I'm not really that, but, you know, just, just meet cool people, you know. Play survival, be awesome. When they die, it matters. You know, that kind of thing. Because when they die, it's like, oh, I had an adventure with that guy and he just died in front of my eyes. That is unfortunate. I'm probably never going to see that guy again. Unless, of course, we're playing the same per per server all the time. You know, that's pretty cool. I do like the interaction with players on that. But unfortunately, for the most part, it's actually non-existent. Because the interaction with players is pretty much a bullet to the head. So there you go. That's unfortunate in my opinion. But oh well, maybe some trading encouragement. Maybe I should maybe I should go on a whitelist server, which sort of stops that from happening for the most part. Maybe a clan server of some sort where you can tell who's an enemy and who's friend. Not really too sure how that would really work, but you know, it's sort of the main part of the game. It's a part of the game which is is a good part, to be honest. It's something that you don't usually find on games usually where there's a, a massive distrust with players, and you're usually worrying more about the players than zombies, like The Walking Dead, you know, the the film, the, the what, the film, the TV series, you know, it's more about the people than the actual zombies, which sometimes is a bit weird, and then sometimes it's like, holy fucking shit, it's pretty good, although season three has not really been that good, but the ending, oh my fucking god, even though it's the halfway through season, I believe, yes, there you go, <laughs> also Game of Thrones is coming out soon, and I am just holding my desk, I've forced myself not to read the books. I don't want to read the books because I don't want to spoil it. Because I like to watch it and just be like, Oh my god! The Red Wedding! What the fuck? My mind blew up, ladies and gentlemen. That was a little while ago now. That's months ago and I'm still surprised at what happened there. There you go, though. That's my, uh... Pfft. I don't know what this was. This was awful. This was, this was like a Saturday peon ramble. Ladies and gentlemen, new series every Sunday. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Fucking hell. <laughs> no, I think you hear enough of my voice. Of me talking absolute bollocks. Maybe you like it. I'm not really too sure. Hopefully, you're barely even listening to me. And I'm just a random voice in the background. A void, if you will. While you're playing TF2 or Counter-Strike or a Valve game. Not, you know, any game, really. Play some Dark Souls. I don't know. Haven't played that game myself. Probably should. Get round to it at some point. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Ramble Post, or Saturday Peon Post, if you really want to call it that. I think this is a Ramble Post now. Nah, Saturday Peon Post. We like it. Nice, nice style. Episode 4! Wow, it's been four weeks. That was quick. That's pretty cool, actually. You can I use them as, like, how much videos I've put out in a week, because they're sort of, like, gaps in the videos. So it's like, oh, that's how much videos I put out this week. I feel pretty good. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much, because I can just tell by the dates. But oh well! <laughs> there you go. We can live for a second. Don't forget to like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Recommendations always nice. And I'll see you guys next time with some more rambling. Bye-bye. Okay, bye now. Bye.